Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you're all well. This feels a bit weird sitting down and filming a sit down video, especially with this backdrop behind me because I haven't done this for quite a while, but here we are. So I'm filming the summer G7X today and therefore I need to quickly apologise if I accidentally look like I'm looking up all the time. It's because the screen flips up on this and it's highly, highly distracting because I'm used to filming on my big camera, but I was just way too lazy to set that up today so you have me on the g7x so i really hope that's okay have i got lipstick on my teeth no okay so today i'm filming for you a little stradivarius haul now this is kind of like a weird thing to be filming because i actually really want to put together a capsule wardrobe and this is something i've been thinking about kind of more and more and more over the past couple of weeks um i've been looking at my wardrobe and getting like, ridiculously frustrated because there's just like there's too much stuff in there and there's like i've got to the point where there's that much stuff that i, like, I don't know what to wear because it's just just too much um, and there's a lot of stuff that I've got in my wardrobe and on my hanging rail that I have kind of had for months and not worn and yeah there's just too much of it so I want to basically just go through it and kind of declutter a lot of it and to make way for the kind of clothes that I'm going to be wearing. We all know that last year I kind of went through like a massive style transformation um, so therefore a lot of the clothes that I have with me now are the stuff that kind of survived my first declutter when I left London um, but I then haven't worn since because my style's changed so dramatically. So yeah I basically need to go through everything and kind of get rid of the stuff that I'm no longer going to probably wear. However that means that there is going to be like a gap in my wardrobe to fill with stuff that I am going to wear so this kind of brings me onto this haul. So because it's a cap your wardrobe I kind of want to start getting pieces that are all going to work together um, and therefore quite a lot of them are going to be basics that I perhaps don't already have in my collection now there is one thing I definitely don't need any more of anymore and that is denim however I will admit to buying one more pair of jeans which you will see in this haul everything else is very different it's all very tonal I'm really into like kind of Scandinavian dressing styles at the moment I'm very into very kind of nude beige like brownie tones throughout my outfits um, and at the moment my wardrobe is massively lacking that there's a lot of black there's a lot of white there's a lot of gray but there's not a lot of those neutral tones that i want to bring in as well um so that is kind of what the basis of this haul is so like i say it's off stradivarius i love shopping off stradivarius i find it one of the best high street stores to shop from to be honest everything is very very true to size um i find when you go into store it is so nicely laid out and usually everything's very tidy too which is quite weird because i believe it's a sister store of zara and i never have that same shopping experience in zara so it's kind of yeah a bit of an anomaly there the price point's brilliant as well it is cheaper than zara but the quality is the same and i think quite a lot of the pieces that you see in stradivarius you also end up seeing the same or similar in zara so it's kind of that little bit more accessible and i kind of think just that much better to shop from um, so I shopped in store a couple of times in both London and the Trafford Centre stores but this time I shopped online. I've never bought trousers from them before so I was quite keen to try some trousers. Um, I did open all this yesterday and try it on. I was having a bit of a sad day yesterday and when it arrived I haven't got time to film so I was just like you know what I'm going to kind of open it and try it all on now and make sure it all fits before I film. But I will try it on again for you guys in this video so you can kind of see what everything looks like. Um, so there are a few tops and a few trousers and I'm just going to get straight on into it and show you each of the pieces. So I'm going to start with the tops. So this first one is so nice. This is very similar actually to a t-shirt that I picked up in Zara the other day. Um, if you guys are watching my vlogs you will know exactly which one it is. This is like just an oat mealy kind of turtleneck long sleeve top with a really nice kind of elasticated cuff now i actually didn't realize this was going to be in that really kind of soft brush cotton material i thought this was just going to be more of like your average cotton polar neck so when it arrived i was actually really pleasantly surprised it's lovely and warm it's very very stretchy fabric um and yeah it fits me really really nicely i really love this color because i think it works as like a really great alternative to wearing white with all your outfits i don't know about you guys but sometimes i find white can be quite harsh and if i'm wanting to bring in those kind of warmer tones this is a great way to do it because it's just like kind of the off-white creamy oatmealy color and it is beautiful and like i say this is so soft i kind of want to like rub up against it but i don't want to get makeup on it so i will not be doing that um but yeah i really love this next up is a very similar piece this is again a little kind of like funnel neck round necked top i actually almost got this in a darker brown as well but then i decided just to get it in this kind of like beigey nude color because i figured i would wear it a bit more often so um yeah this is just a really cute nude ribbed long sleeve polar necky type i just love stuff like this to wear with trousers mostly i think it looks really chic you can throw a blazer over the top of it except blah 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 blah, blah. 
accessorize with your favorite jewelry pieces and it just looks really nice and just really put together and quite stylish so I really wanted to get some more pieces like that because the only stuff I have like this in my wardrobe at the moment is a black boohoo roll neck that I wear quite a lot so yeah I thought I would get something and another color other than black to wear to kind of continue that vibe in my wardrobe now you guys know I love a good shirt this one obviously needs a good iron because when do shirts ever arrive not needing a good iron but I just wanted to add a plain white shirt to my collection I have one from Topshop that you guys will have seen me pick up last year that is that kind of like ribbed not ribbed like striped cotton which is beautiful um but I wanted something that was just Oh my god has it started snowing again um i just wanted something that was more like plain this has got a slightly oversized fit and i don't know how well you can see here but it's got almost like a very very slight balloon to the sleeves which looks gorgeous on um i got this in an extra small because it was so oversized and a part of me kind of wishes i got it in a small just because the cuffs are really really small like ridiculously small like whose wrist is that little granted my wrist does kind of just fit into it um but i can feel if i got the small it would be a little bit easier but then at the same time it wouldn't fit me elsewhere so getting the extra small is probably the right idea this is quite thin the material and it's got a slightly you know it's slightly see-through i don't know how well that's showing up on camera um so you would have to obviously be careful with what underwear you wore underneath it and also when you wore it you know this time of year is perhaps not the wisest choice because like i say it is very thin um but it is nice it's not the best quality white shirt i've ever felt like i won't lie to you but it also wasn't expensive it was maybe like 19.99 so you know if you're only spending 20 pounds that's what you're gonna get onto the trousers now and probably my most favorite piece in the entire haul i saw these online a couple of weeks ago and i really wanted them and then i was just like no you need to wait and then i decided that i just couldn't wait anymore because i was literally dreaming about them and all the ways i could style them up so i just thought right you know what it's happening and it is this pair of black trousers i don't know how well they're going to show up on this camera they're basically a very nice like faux suede material i don't know can you see that oh, there we go you can just about see that with that light there we go so they're really 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 nice this like faux suede material they've got a really nice like high waist they are really warm i tried these on yesterday and yeah they're really warm so i think i'll be taking these to amsterdam with me um they're just beautiful um i basically bought a pair of leggings from bershka that you would have seen a few weeks ago on my vlog and they didn't fit right at all so i've sent them back um and i wanted another pair of leggings basically to fill that void because i just wanted like a really nice pair of black leggings to wear and i was just like oh i wish those ones had fit these are gonna just fit that bill really nicely they fit like a dream they're so warm they're so comfortable there is enough room in them for any kind of food baby situation i got these in an eight i'm between a six and an eight at the moment but i thought if i get an eight it, i can fit like i can tuck things things in um and they're not going to feel too tight and this was the perfect size to get in get them in um and yeah i'm really really pleased with these these are like my new favorite thing i think i also decided to pick up a pair of high-waisted like coated trousers because i bought a pair like this similar in the top shop sale the other day and unfortunately when i got them home they didn't fit and then i tried to take them back into store and get the right size and they didn't have them or the only side they had didn't have belt loops and i was like no i need belt loops in my life um i'm really sorry by the way if the lighting is going crazy because it it's really really snowing outside right now and it's all just got very dark um but yeah this is just the little coated trousers they fit very much like a pair of skinny jeans again they're not like exceptional quality but they're not terrible either i don't know how well they'll wear i had a pair very similar from new look a few years ago and they wore really badly in the knees um a few times after wearing them but again these weren't that expensive so it says they've got a touch the touch denim oh no made of soft to touch denim there we go so apparently they are actually denim these but um i mean i would potentially beg to differ but anyway yeah they feel they don't feel the greatest quality but they don't feel bad either they fit like a dream and yeah they're everything i wanted in a pair of coated trousers so i'm quite pleased with them my god you guys if you could see the weather outside like it's crazy anyway on to the last item in the haul now and this is the jeans so i have one pair of mom jeans and they are very ripped and they are very lovely and comfortable and the denim is so soft because they're so old now but they're also about four sizes too big for me and i do try and cinch them in a lot at the waist when i wear them and i don't mind that silhouette but i also quite like a pair of mom jeans that actually fit um so i decided to kind of go on the hunt for a pair and i kind of wanted a pair that didn't have rips in either so i stumbled across these on stradivarius now they are a darker wash than i would have originally liked but i did try these on and i just really like them they're very 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 flattering 
around my hips which I was not expecting and that's kind of like a problem area for me so I was really pleased when I tried them on and they kind of smooth over my curves but yeah this is them they're just your yeah, average dark wash mom jean basically this feels great quality though like it's not stretch denim um I didn't think it would be they just they fit really nicely and they feel really nice and I'm just really made up with them so yeah I got these in a um a waist 26 which I believe is a UK 8 yes it is and this is 36 but I think that is the U Europe sizing um yeah so I got these in a size 8 they fit really nicely um there again there was a little bit of room in them so it's not like they're not too tight I think if I got them in a 6 they would have done up but it would have been that kind of uncomfortable like okay I've got them on but now I can't sit down situation these I know I can sit down in I can eat in and they're going to be nice and comfortable so you guys why do I always clap when I do haul videos or just kind of like any video um so you guys yeah that is my uh haul for you I really hope you have enjoyed it let me know if you like what I picked out as well um I am keen to hear what you guys think you know I love your opinion so let me know let me know how you guys would style these items um I don't know if I'm going to do kind of like a lookbook with them but I will definitely be featuring them in kind of like fashion posts on my Instagram and on my blog in the coming weeks and months so if you want to see how I'm styling them up make sure you head over there um obviously I've tried them on today for you but I haven't kind of styled them as like individual outfits yet so yeah I'm quite excited to get going with that and yeah I just really hope you guys have enjoyed this video it feels a bit weird like I've not I say I've not done like a sit down video in quite some time it's all been kind of like vloggy um so yeah I really hope you guys have enjoyed this I'm going to stop rambling now if you have give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments below don't forget to hit that subscribe button I'll be back with another video very soon bye